Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day celebration, and I have here uh, a review of these hors d'oeuvres, these are the Spring Valley Party Collection. And these have uh, cocktail beef franks, which is this, whoop, it's actually uh, one of them popped out of the wrap there. Uh, spinach turnovers, you can see right here, uh, beef, onion, mushroom pocket. That is traditionally my favorite uh, hors d'oeuvre and potato puffs. And we have one of those right here. And it says, For the past 50 years, our family has been building upon Grandma Pearl's mission to make gourmet homemade food for families with busy lifestyles. And these come from Goshen, New York, made in the USA. And to go with this, I have uh, Ice House Beer. This is uh, produced in the Plank Road Brewery in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That has been operating since 1855. That's before the war between the states. This is 5.5% alcohol by volume. It's uh, as you can see here on the can, ice brewed, which usually gives you higher alcohol content. And this is Union made and Ice House is actually uh, the beer itself didn't come out till the early 90s. Let's go ahead and get a I'm going to give that a solid three stars. Now let's get one of these out and let's start with my personal favorite the beef pocket this has a little more pastry than some of the other brands I've had in the past around it there is a good beef flavor and very noticeable mushroom if you like mushrooms now let's try the cocktail frank Frank's got a little bit of a snap to it. Here's the one that flew out earlier. You can see the size of the actual Frank. Pretty good hot dog flavor. If you're wondering about the aroma, I know this off the bat is pretty much a toasted pastry aroma. This is a spinach uh, turnover. Let's go ahead and see how that tastes. That has a really fresh, uh, garden fresh spinach flavor, more than any brand I've had in the past. Now last but not least, let's go to the potato puff. When I heard about this Hateful Eight movie, I thought it was a documentary about the Montgomery County Council, about this affluenza guy hiding out in Mexico. What a moron, trying to stay off the grid, then he orders a pizza on his cell phone. 
he should have gone to Little Caesars for a hot and ready. Which, by the way, was another one of my nicknames when I was a Chippendales dancer in Lake Tahoe. But seriously, Bob, in 2015 I was named one of the faces that changed 2014. America's top white rapper. And finally, the new face of hip-hop. The new face of hip-hop. 2016 is going to be even bigger and better. I want to be king of all media. 12 out of 10 Russian doctors agree. Every American should be subscribed to this channel while it's still available without a prescription. And when you hear about celebrity New Year's resolutions, I'm at the top of the list with mine. New Year, new booty. New Year, new booty. Well, I'd say overall these are, the fillings are among the better ones I've tried over the years. There does seem to be a little bit more pastry exterior than there needs to be, or perhaps there needs to be more on the inside in terms of the actual fillings. Maybe a little bit bigger hot dog, a little bit more of the beef and so forth. But Overall, I thought these were quite good, and this was a good uh, accompaniment. Pretty much a standard uh, American lager flavor. Slight in a hint of alcohol to it. A little bit higher amount of alcohol. But, so overall, I'm going to go ahead and give these uh, hors d'oeuvres four stars. And I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing and commenting, being such loyal viewers as we start a new year here on the Robert Dyer channel. Hope you like this video, share it with your friends, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.